Welcome to Our Aging Puzzle. I am your host, Corlette DeVoe. Our show is about aging and how it affects all of us. We're going to have good conversations with guests from all walks of life that impact life and aging. We are impacted every single day and we want to talk about it. Doesn't matter if you're a senior, if you're a baby, if you're in between, we are going to bring stories that's going to inspire you and you can relate to. We are excited to hear stories that are going to touch our hearts and make us laugh, inspire us, and just give us valuable insights. And remember, we bring all kinds of topics every single month, a different topic. And we want to help you, inspire you, so you can live a long, healthy life, so we all can live a long and healthy life. So stay with us because we want to keep connecting with each other and learning, laughing, together. So we trust that you are enjoying the festivities of this holiday season. Today, we have tailored a special program that is focused on matters that resonates universally. Impaired driving. Y'all, you can have fun during the holidays, but you don't have to drink and drive. It's important that you don't. Remember, December is National Impaired Driving Prevention Month. During the holidays, we often see such an increase in accidents due to impaired driving. Impaired means anything, whether it's driving drunk or driving after you've been smoking something. Be careful out there. It is important, y'all. We have to remember that there are so many things out there that we have to decide on. It's your decision if you are going to, to drink and drive or if you are going to drive impaired. It's your decision. So make the right one. Our aim is to unite and raise awareness this month and ensure our collective safety on the road during this joyous season. It cannot be joyous if someone gets into an accident, whether you are the victim or the offender. It's not going to be joyous for anyone. So brace yourself for the discussion in our third week talking about National Impaired Driving Prevention. Buckle up, y'all. It's going to be informative. We are delighted to welcome back Mel Lovelace, personal injury attorney from the injury firm Gallister Abramowitz. She's our special guest the entire month. Remember, every month we have one guest, and that guest is on the show week after week because they take us through a journey. So you have to come and watch us every week to hear that guest journey week after week. So the first week, remember, we discussed stats on holiday driving. Mel shared those with us. And week two, Mel shared with us tips for a safe holiday drive. And this week, Mel will share a particular case that left an impact on her that emphasizes the real life consequences of unsafe driving. And week four, last week, Mel is going to share the ramifications of driving impaired. Please do not drink and drive. Do not drive impaired. It's unsafe. It's a not a good decision. So don't do it, y'all. So join us every week as we share with you our guest and their journey for the entire month. All right, y'all. It's time for Aging Facts. Home is where the heart is, especially during the holiday season. We all have family and friends coming over to visit. It can also be where innovative, smart devices can keep you and your loved ones safe and connected throughout the holiday season. Let's just say that you are in New York and your loved one is in Miami, Florida, and they're older and you can't make it down for the holidays. What do you do? We can't be there all the time. But sometimes we can think about how we can still stay connected if we can't be in person. So in our segment this week, we have we are pleased to announce an exciting development for families and seniors. We want to present a new ALF Solutions app. This is a remarkable tool designed to provide a connection between you and your beloved seniors, regardless of where they are, whether they are in a senior facility, it does not matter. They are 
here. We are here to provide help with this app. And we want to show you how that is done by providing information in our notes section so that you can learn more about this. This new and innovative tool, which is called ALF Growth App, is a game changer because what it does is it bridges the gap between families and loved ones, no matter where they are in the world. Yes. So what that means is when I was in Florida and my mama was in the Bahamas, if I had access to this app, I would have been able to see my mom and communicate with her using this app and a tablet so she and I can talk and spend time together so I could see her. I didn't have that before my mom passed away. So I'm an advocate for having it now that it's available for families to keep connected with their loved ones who are away from them. Again, this is a bridge between families and loved ones, whether they are in a nursing home, a assisted living facility, or just in their department anywhere away from you. Let's keep you and your loved ones connected by learning more about this ALF Growth app. You can find more information on the notes section of this episode. It's important that we make aging and place smarter and more comfortable for our beloved seniors. And we must never forget that home is where the heart truly lies, particularly during this festive season. So let's stay in touch with our family members. And if we can't be there, let's connect with them through this ALF Growth app. Now, as we continue to navigate through December, a month that is devoted to national impaired driving prevention, we aim to bring attention to this important matter. What is considered drinking and driving? Well, did you know that states differ in the terminology that they use to refer to it? Some states may refer to it as driving under the influence or DUI, driving while intoxicated, DWI, drunk driving or impaired driving. There's so many different ways and so many different you know, options based on the state. Well, you have to know what state you're in because you, know, you wanna know what they call it. Drunk driving, driving while intoxicated, DWI, DUI. What is it? You have to learn based on the state that you are in. And generally, all states except Utah have established a blood alcohol concentration of 0.08% as the legal limit. And for those under the age of 21, zero tolerance laws are in place to criminalize the act of driving with even a small amount of alcohol in your system. Do not drink at all if you are under 21. Additionally, states may have increased penalties for those individuals driving with a high BAC minors in the vehicle. If you're going to drink, don't drive. And it's even worse if you drive with a minor in the vehicle. Boy, and if you have multiple convictions, you are just setting yourself up for a lot of some heavy fines and, and consequences. I can't stress this enough. Please don't drink and drive. And don't drink and drive with your kid in the car. Just don't drink and drive. Just, just too many complications, y'all. So we know, I've said it a thousand times, don't drink and drive. We want you to be safe. We want everyone else around you to be safe. So we want to thank our guest, Mel, for her valuable insights over the last two weeks. Our discussions have been truly eye-opening, highlighting the alarming increase in accidents all tied to impaired driving, y'all. Anyway, we hope our tips resonated strongly with you as much as it has with me and Mel and all of us here who are trying to get this point out to the world. It's time to welcome our special guest today. It is my honor to introduce for the third week, Melanie Lovelace. She's a compassionate, advocate for victims of drunk driving. She is originally from Michigan. She holds a bachelor's degree in secondary education and a master's degree in educational administration. And 
This smart young lady graduated with a law degree from Nova Southeastern University as a graduate. She graduated as Magna Cum Laude. Mel is amazing. Mel's commitment to justice grew during her time as an associate for Nova Law Review and a clerk at the injury law firm. She specializes in various personal injury cases, including accident, with include involving automobiles and trucking. Gosh, Mel, she if you have an accident and in including an automobile or a, a truck, Mel is the one you want to call. She is dedicated to helping those affected by negligence. She represents the victims. The victims. And outside of her legal endeavors, she enjoys yoga, scuba diving, and cooking with her fantastic husband. So please, welcome, Melanie Lovelace. Great to see you, Mel. Thank you so much for being here today. Hi, Corla. Thanks for having me back. Fantastic. We hope you are all fully embracing the festive spirit of the holidays. Today, we have curated a very special program that's focused on a crucial issue that affects us all, impaired driving. Remember, December is National Impaired Driving Prevention Month, and our goal is to unite, raise awareness, and ensure everyone's safety on the roads during this celebratory time. So buckle up for our conversation this third week. It's going to be an enlightening one. Mel, a big thank you for your valuable insights last week. Our discussion was truly eye-opening, highlighting the alarming incidents and increase in accidents and incidents that tied to impaired driving. Don't drive impaired, y'all. Mm -hmm. Your tips resonated strongly with our audience, providing crucial insights into the seriousness of the issue during the holiday season. So Mel, I understand that you've worked on cases related to holiday driving incidents. Could you share a particular case that left an impact on you while emphasizing the real life consequences of safe, unsafe driving? Mel? Yes, absolutely, Corlett. Unfortunately, in my profession, I have a lot of cases where, you know, my clients have been impacted greatly by someone who is an impaired driver. Um, and especially this time of year, we do see an uptick in those types of cases that come into our firm. Um, and, you know, this this case really resonates with our topic today. And that age old adage that life can change in an instant really rings true whenever someone is injured by an impaired driver. So last year I had a very young client come into our firm um, and she had very catastrophic injuries because of an autom automobile accident caused by a drunk driver. The driver was actually a repeat offender, so this was not their first offense. Um, and they shouldn't even have been on the road or driving. They didn't have a license at the time that they caused this accident. They never even slowed down for the red light, and they plowed into my client's vehicle um, T-boning her, fracturing both her arms, um, and leaving her unable to work for several months. So unfortunately, and what was really sad about this was that the person who was driving impaired, they didn't have automobile insurance because they had a suspended license. Mm. So this left my client civilly with really no recourse against her because she didn't have insurance. Um, and these very debilitating injuries. And, you know, we do an extensive search here at our firm to find any applicable insurance coverage. Um, but when there isn't, we a lot of times have to withdraw from the case. Um, and, you know, there are ways, which I will explain to protect yourself if that does occur. But, you know, that's difficult because, that's just one snapshot of how a drunk driver can change a, a really vibrant and young person's life in a in a selfish instant of of making that decision um, to drive impaired that day. Um, luckily, my client, 
she was able to recover from her injuries and she did make a full recovery, but that's not always the case. Um, And these instances, it never gets any easier to tell someone that there is nothing civilly that can be done to compensate from their injuries if the person driving is not properly insured. So I really do stress, you know, to purchase certain protections on your own policy, especially purchasing uninsured motorist coverage. Um, That protects you in those instances if a person who's impaired and they hit you doesn't have or isn't even supposed to be out on the road. Wow. Wow. It's a lot of information you shared, Mel, and, you know, the information um, just uh, really helps to strengthen the reason why December is National Impaired Driving Month, because we want to get the message out there that driving impaired is a risk not only to yourself, but to others. And the responsible thing to do is to pay attention to the laws and do not drink and drive and or do not drive while impaired with any substance, right? Yes. yes. I mean, it's we see it all too often in my industry. Um, and it just causes devastating effects. You know, this doesn't just affect the victim, um, but, you know, it affects their family, just unable to work this time of year. I mean, this time of year is difficult for everyone, you know, with the holidays and it's so busy. Um, so many gifts to buy for a different people. It's it's really the worst time to to not be able to work and provide for yourself. That's very, very sad. So Mel, tell us, you know, you, you shared this case with us. This um the the victim that came to you for help, how did they hear about your injury firm? Yeah, this particular client of ours, the you know, where she worked is very close to our firm location on Commercial Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale. Um, And she had actually driven by our firm several times. So when she was injured, her family brought her here um, to meet with me in person um, and to kind of explain and go over what had happened and how she was injured. Um, So this particular client, it was literally by driving by our, our offices here on Commercial in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. And now that you mentioned that, Mel, why don't you go ahead and tell us what the name of your law firm again and the address for those uh, who may be interested in and in, or may have the need for an injury attorney like yourself. What is yes, your- I always say, hopefully you never need me, right? <laughs> hopefully you're never injured by someone or by the negligence of someone. But our firm is called The Injury Firm and it's located at 1608 East Commercial Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And we also have a second location in West Palm Beach, um, and it is just the injury firm if you look it up. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing that. So if anyone out there has the need for an injury firm, I pray that this doesn't happen to you. But if you do need a firm, you've been in an accident and you need an injury firm, please reach out to Mel. So Mel, um, you talked about that your your client could not work for months. Mm -hmm. Can you walk us through you know, what that process looks like if if um, if a victim is in an accident, what is the process for them to get better and how do you guide them? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's a lot of work for rehab and the doctors that she works with, the hospital she went to, they were all very good. Um, fractures just take time to heal in that instance. Um, and she was without, you know, without a job, without the ability to work, working in the restaurant industry, obviously need your arms, you know, to, to do literally everything there. Um, So it just took time to heal, Um, you know, on her own policy. Fortunately, she had purchased wage loss protection. It doesn't cover your full wages. Um, It never does on auto policies but it was something to compensate her minimally um, during that time off. And then it was a, a burden on her family. You know, it was it was difficult for them. They had to assist her, drive her to all her appointments, all of those things. And, and that just goes to show how the impact really spreads out um, when someone makes a decision like this. It just doesn't affect the two people involved in the accident. It affects all of their loved ones, all of their family members, 
And, you know, all of that time they have to spend rehabbing and getting better from their injuries. Wow. Well, you keep adding more things to me to, to think about. I just learned something from you, Mel. Wage loss protection insurance. Ooh, yes, on problem. your auto policy, there is there is sometimes the option um, to purchase it if you if you speak with your insurance agent. Um, on auto policies, there can be wage loss protection components. Yes, and in Florida, everyone does have PIP personal injury protection coverage. But that only covers the initial ten thousand dollars of your medical expenses, um, and so sometimes additional protections like the uninsured motorist coverage or wage loss protection coverage can also step in and protect you if if an impaired driver or anyone hits you and doesn't have proper coverage on their own policy. Okay, that's really good information, and because of the increase. Um, in accidents, and, and also because we are talking about impaired driving. I think it's important for, for our protection that we think about how we can protect ourselves constantly because you just never know when that irresponsible person is going to slam into you. So yes. protect yourself. I think that's a great addition to your insurance, and I didn't know about that, so I will certainly look into that for my family. Um, the, the process uh, for someone who's gone through um, this, this catastrophic event where they are, are hit and, and they are going through this, this um, recovery, is there a time frame in which people go through this, this recovery phase or is it dependent on something else? It's really dependent on people's injuries, their, their length of recovery time, um, their injuries, and then, you know, what, what is required of them. Um, in their daily life. So everyone varies. You know, a lot of people will ask me, how long does the entire process take? Um, which is a difficult question to answer because, you know, it varies dependent upon the injuries sustained. That's understandable. That's understandable. Mel, what happened to that person who hit your client? What happened to them? She was criminally charged. It was a second offense. Um, I don't know the length of, of time she received, but because of a second offense, there was likely jail time also um, required to be served. You know, that's, 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 that's really bad because you have two people whose lives have been changed forever. You know, one, the victim who, you know, could not go to work and had to go through this whole process of recovery and then you have the offender who obviously is a repeat offender now that person is going to to jail two mm -hmm. lives that have been, have been impacted negatively and so that just goes to show why we're having this discussion today and why december is national impaired driving month because don't do it it's, it's just yeah. not a good thing it, it affects so many lives in a negative way yes and, and this is what you do, Mel. I, I bless your heart. You do this every day, defending people that have, have been victimized and that have been hurt. I commend you for doing this and, and being the one that's out there helping victims. So thank you for what you do. Thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us, Mel, before we wrap up this week's segment? And um, thank you for sharing your case. What else you want to share with us before we wrap up? I just want people to stay safe out there and know, you know, that they can, unfortunately, when these instances occur, you can still protect yourself by really reviewing your own insurance policies because you can never count on someone out there driving to purchase all the pr proper coverages to protect you in instances like this. So you need to, uh, my biggest tip for the holidays would be to do an insurance policy review on your auto policy and make sure you have um, full coverages available to you, especially, you know, when we do see this uptick in, in impaired driving around this time of year. And that fantastic information. And don't forget, if you need an injury attorney, you've been hit in a car accident and you need an attorney. Mel, please share your number again so they can call your injury firm. Yes, my number is 954-951-0000, and it is The Injury Firm, 
located here on Commercial Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale. Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing your case with us. Thank you so much for your time, Mel. And to everyone out there, listen, do not drive impaired. December is National Impaired Driving Month because we want to raise attention to this serious um, problem. Stay safe out there. Don't hurt anyone. And we hope you are safe as well. Thanks again, Mel. Yes, thank you, Corlett. We would like to thank Melanie for her contribution to this crucial conversation and for educating our audience. Thank you again, Mel. Now let's talk about habits to live longer and live better. We recommend four things during this holiday season as we do every month. Ha <laughs> ha. One, proper diet. Eat well. Remember, before you go to the party, eat a little something, eat a protein bar so that you don't go to that party hungry. Eat small portions, reduce the carbs. Two, regular exercise. We're going to be eating a lot more this holiday season, so try to get some movement in, do something, do yoga like Mel does, um, 15 minutes of any kind of workout, go walking after you finish eating, do something. Just get moving and get some exercise in because that will help you control your weight. Reduce your stress. Get better sleep. You're going to be working, cooking, and hanging out with family and friends. Reduce your stress. Getting good quality sleep helps. And socialization. You're going to be partying this weekend. You're going to be partying this whole month. Great. That's one of the ways to live longer. But if you don't have friends coming by and you don't have that socialization, go outside and maybe hang out with your neighbor. Go and volunteer. Find a friend to come over. But remember, socialization is very important to helping us live longer and to live better. So remember the four things we recommend every single week. Proper diet, regular exercise, reduce your stress, and socialize. Because doing these things will have a positive impact on your overall health and well-being and will help you live longer and live better. <laughs> anyway, our topic for the month was driving safe for the holidays. And we also want to focus on National Driving Impaired Prevention Month. Remember, don't drink and drive. Don't drive impaired. If you want to learn more about driving safely, visit www.nhtsa.gov slash road safety for more valuable insights and information. We encourage you to be responsible this holiday season. Be careful out there on the road, pull over and report drivers if you see someone driving impaired. Call 911 and report them because it's a matter of their safety and yours. Again, we'll see you next week and we thank you for joining us. Voila! I'm Kevin Harrington, an original shark from Shark Tank. DG Incorporated provides coaching services to help entrepreneurs open and grow assisted living facilities and build economic wealth. Visit their website to learn more.